Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Regina and if you're new here, hi guys, thank you for coming. Okay, okay guys, thank you for the applause. Go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell as well so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So today I've left in a little bit of my prep work and um, if there's any steps that I'm leaving out, please don't hesitate to comment it in the comment section below. And, you know, you can always check out the links of any products I'm using. If I list it, it will be in the description below. So, you know, first thing you want to do when you're doing nails is glue your tips on. Make sure everything is fit from sidewall to sidewall. And then the next thing you want to go ahead and do is cut and shape your nails and then the next step is pushing back the cuticles and making sure that the nails have no dead skin on them and all that stuff you know so that's why you push the cuticles back after you push the cuticles back you're gonna go ahead and take your drill and you're gonna take down the tips you know the lip that the tip leaves you wanna like Blend that into the nail to make sure that you have an even surface to work from. And you want to also remove the shine from the nails because any oils on the nails will cause the nails to go ahead and lift. And you don't want to have any problems. So you're going to want to do, go ahead and remove that shine, okay? Both from the fake nails and your real nails. And you want to go ahead and do it on all 10 nails to make sure that you have a nice surface to work from because acrylic is like a glue and it needs something to stick to and hold on to so it needs something with a little bit of teeth so you don't have to dig into these people nails make sure that the speed you're going at is a really moderate speed and um you're not using a sanding bit that is designed to remove nails you're going to use the finest grade sanding bit you have to remove the shine off the nails and you want to go at a really low speed that's not going to stop every time you actually turn the machine onto the nails so you want to go ahead and do that okay all right Okay guys, so my next step is to go ahead and remove the dust from all the nails. You want to move your products that you've used before to the side and then you're going to go ahead and dust off your nails and get them ready to put your primer. My primer of choice today is from No Lift and you want to just go ahead and do the natural nail beds. I mean, it's your choice if you want to go ahead and bring it up the nail, the fake nail, but you know what? It's going to stick to the fake nail regardless. So, Moda does tell if you take your product, but it's so expensive. And put it on the actual nails them. And don't worry about the nail bed, the um, fake nails. Okay? And make sure you don't touch the skin with this product. Because if your client have a little nick, or a scratch, or kind of scrape, or anything like that, it's going to burn that person, super burn them. But if you have any problems like that you want to just go ahead and use some alcohol and you want to spray that area and it will stop that burn okay so anyways moving on to the nail set at hand I'm only going to do one hand on camera because the other hand is the exact same on the other side you know I'm doing the left side I think no I'm doing the right side so the left side is also going to be the same design, okay? So when I head and put the glitter on first, and then I put in my my clear on first. Oh, wow. I put my clear on first, then I put my glitter, then I'm coming over it with another big bead of clear acrylic to encapsulate my glitters and make sure that I have a nice body to work with. And make sure that everything is nice and straight on each sidewall make sure you check your cuticle area and you want to do all of this 
go over the nail from side wall to side wall, up and down, side to side, up and down, blah, blah, blah. All of that, you want to check the nail and make sure that this, the apex is in the right place and the nails is perfect. Because if you don't make it perfect in the first go, you have a ton of filing to do. And you don't want to do that. Okay? So, after doing that one, then I'm going to come on to the ring finger. And I'm going to use Perfect Nude from Valentino Pure on Instagram. Um, I love this nude. It's so beautiful and easy to work with. Yeah, it's amazing. And I'm going to be doing a full finger of this one today because I'm going to be adding a gem. So you want to watch the video until the end to see how I hear my jewelry. And guess what? They last all as long as your nail lasts. Okay? They won't pop off. They're not going to pop off. So you want to watch to the end to see what I use to hold them in place. Okay? And make sure that if you're you're doing the nail and you're doing a one ball method you check your sides because sometimes the sides don't have any product and you want to go over the sides and add products wherever you see fit okay but you want to try to get this in one bead and one bead only but if not nobody is perfect go over it and fix it the end so now moving on to the middle finger and I'm going to be doing an ombre with a little bit of glitter in a sushi design across the nail so I'm gonna let you watch while I do that okay Okay guys, now moving on to the pointer finger, I'm going to be just adding a little bit of clear acrylic on the nail bed, just to get the nail wet, and then I'm going to be coming in with that beautiful glitter, as I said before, and then, I'm not sure what it's named, I'm using a little bit of the white to come down the nails, the same one I used to do my ombre, I don't remember if I mentioned it, but yeah, I got this white from Young Nails. And I like using Young Nails products, they're great to work with. And I added a glow in the dark pigment to it. So yeah, these glow in the dark, baby. They glow in the dark. Anyway, you see that white powder? It glow. Okay. Alright. Anyways, I'm doing a little marble design on this nail or some sushi lines. I don't know. It's anything you want to call it. I'll mean, we'll say it's real pretty. And then after I place them when I want them, you know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to encapsulate it in a big old ball of clear acrylic. And my clear acrylic of choice is from Glam. Is it Glam and Glitz? No, it's from Young Nails. Okay? And that, I'm dragging down the entire nail. And make sure that every area of the nail is covered in the clear because you don't want to follow your beautiful creation that you just make. All right. Okay. All right, that I'm moving on to the thumb or sun 
moving on to the thumb it don't matter i love doing nails it could be boy girl or whatever whatever you think your gender is as long as you love this nail thing let's do this i'm going to be doing another ombre and then i'm going to be doing some sushi lines yes sushi lines of glitter on here so i'm going to stop talking now and everything else you can figure it out for yourself because you have two eyeball in your head all right so enjoy the rest of the video and if you're not yet subscribed to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the bell as well and don't forget to follow me on all my social medias the links will be in the description below and guess what i'm gonna tell us say be fly like regina nails be fly because guess what megan bye bye